about student athletes, CJ Frederick, Victor Locken. Uh, questions for the student athletes? CJ, was it just one of those days it looked like you were throwing it in the ocean from early? It, it seemed like you rhythm wise was pretty good. Yeah, you know, I just wanted to come out and be aggressive um, and, you know, trust the work that I put in all off season. Um, you know, credit to my teammates that are finding me. Um, but yeah, I definitely was in a good little rhythm early on. How, how do you keep that even keel? Like, you know, Howard, you didn't get many attempts. They did a good job shadowing you and making sure that you didn't get free and not letting yourself get frustrated to where you can you can come back and have a day like today. Yeah, just like I said earlier, continue to play my game. Um, you know, there's going to be days where things are going my way, like tonight, and there's going to be days where it's not. Uh, but just continuing to play how I play and how the team needs me to play, and I'll be, I'll be fine. Vic, did this feel like your most complete game as a UC player, career high six assists, eight for 10 from the field? So far, yeah. Yeah. I'm pissed. Coach Dan kept me for triple double, or at least double double. But yeah. What what has kind of allowed you to, to see those passing lanes a little bit easier, and what what has kind of led to you being a little bit more diverse with your ability to pass and, and get assists off the board? Uh, first of all, I think a lot of the passes were like regular passes. People just made shots, like one pass in the corner. We just run the play. CJ makes a shot from a corner, or uh, who else I passed to Ordi? Like they weren't guarding Ordi at all. I just like swing it to him. Like it's it just not a good defense, like they didn't pressure me as much, I feel like, and that's what created those opportunities. Vic, you guys struggled to put together some full 40 minute efforts during the season. Now you've had three straight at home, any grid out, a win at Howard. Was there something that kind of flipped or was there a switch that kind of happened to have you guys have those full 40 minute efforts? Uh, I didn't think we had a full 40 today too. We started just trading buckets uh, at the beginning of the second half. But then we picked it up like last 10 minutes of the half. So I feel like we still have a way to, to I mean, we still got room for improvement. But yeah, we, we definitely did a big, big uh, changing compared to our game. Oh my gosh, I can't speak. Compared to our game. So yeah, we getting better there. There was a possession there in the first half with you two. CJ, you came down, found Victor. Victor, you went up over the top to find Aziz. Could you just walk us through that possession? And Victor, did you ever think you were going to be one to throw the lob to Aziz there? I always talk to Aziz, like, be ready. Like, a couple lobs I threw him at, at the Howard game, and he looked to me like he didn't expect the pass. And I'm like, bro, you like, so long. Just always be ready because they're trying to uh, help in a baseline. That's what happened there. His transition happens. He's just so long. I don't really have to, like, throw a good pass. Just throw it in the air, and it's, like, down to Jordan there. He just slams everything. So, Is it as visible to you guys on the court how fast Jizzle is – starting to progress because it feels like confidence wise like he's he's leveling up pretty much game by game now yeah you know um it's amazing he's a freshman like when i was a freshman i had the red shirt um you know i wasn't i wasn't all there with the speed of the game and you know i had to take a year to just kind of get better um so for him you know he's not even like he's out there playing and just getting better every single day um, and we have all the confidence in the world in him with the ball to make plays and do the right thing. So like you said, you know, we're just believing in him and he's getting better every single day. Does he feel like it on the court to you that you can tell he's he's advancing? Yeah, I can feel it. I can tell. Do you guys feel like this team is kind of pick your poison? I mean, there's two really weird stat lines. Dan only has three points, but he has 12 boards. Uh, Aziz has 10 points, but only one rebound, but yet it all works. I mean, yeah, we we all good players. Somebody, especially coach, wants us to run more since he's got eligible, and we want to run, uh, play faster, run, run more possessions. So I feel like if somebody gets a rebound, like a Dennis Gray, off to, I mean, defensive rebounder as well as on offense, but we're talking about defense. So I see him getting a rebound, so I'm already taking off and fly there. While before, like earlier in the season, I we had to me and Odie had to make sure we like protect, I mean, get the defensive rebound first and then we would convert. So I feel like having Dan Aziz and others, like, uh, I'm more than sure Aziz feel that way too. Like we just have like three, four people who can really rebound the ball. So we don't really have to put so much effort like in us, we just trust our teammates. CJ, you guys shot 56% from the floor, 57% from three, 77% from the free throw line. You had five guys with more than four assists. Uh, did it feel like maybe like an old Iowa game out there where the ball was just pinging everywhere and shots were falling? 
Yeah, it did. You know, um, a big emphasis was, you know, getting stops on defense and just running. Um, that was a big emphasis in practice, and I thought we did a pretty good job of it tonight. Um, and it's fun. It's fun when you're running and just making the right plays, and everyone's knocking down shots, and you know they make a bucket. Vic sprints down, gets an and one dunk. You know that stuff is fun and contagious. Um, and I think we did a really good job of that today. But yeah, it does remind me a little bit of that, some of those games. Can you compare me with Luca Garza? Both, both really good players. <laughs> Vic, uh, Kelman had uh, 23 points, 11 to 16 from the floor. And a really soft touch around the rim. How do you keep yourself from like getting discouraged as he's you know, able to, to get some things done that it really didn't look like there was you know, much alternative, you know, you guarded him well, he just made shots. Yeah, I mean, he had a really good game. The, he had a segment, like I talked about in the beginning of the second half, when we just traded buckets, and he was one of their leaders in that segment. So we just had to be more physical in the post. Guarded was all five, not worried necessarily about our guy, but just help the guy who was guarding the post be more physical. And a couple uh, points he scored off, of the offensive rebounds, that's what we talked about in scouting. Like we had to box out, clear the weak side. So, some of our, uh, some of his points were our errors. But I have to give him credit. Like he can finish with like ball hands. So, yeah. CJ, you guys now have a week to prepare for Xavier heading into next Saturday. You're being from Cincinnati. Just talk about the excitement you have to play in this rivalry for the first time. Yeah, super excited. Um, you know, I remember watching this this game when I was a little kid. Um, used to be. You know, one of the best days just to come home and my dad would bring home Skyline and we'd watch the game. So, um, you know, we have a lot we have a lot of days to prepare. So it's just getting tomorrow getting better, the next day getting better. I'm um, just continuing to get better every single day. You both had great nights uh, shooting the ball. Did either of you feel threatened by the three point artist known as Odie Oguama? <laughs> <laughs> I was shocked he shot it, but it looked good. You know, he Shot it with confidence, and you know, we got no problem with that. How do you guys feel the experience at Howard is going to play into this week of preparation, and just how valuable do you guys think that was of, of going through those tough moments? Of because obviously at home this year there hasn't been a lot of those, but you got that experience on the road heading into your second true road game against. Yeah, them. it's huge. Um, you know, after that game, uh, we sim similar. We had a couple days to get ready, um, and it wasn't it wasn't like oh like. We won another game. We've arrived. It was no like we we have to get better, and there's things that we need to improve on. Uh, we didn't play our best game, um, so it's having that same mindset going into this week. Um, yeah, we played well today. We didn't play the best game we thought, um, but it's continuing to get better every single day, and preparing for another rather really tough road game. I don't know your birthdays, but December fourteenth, two thousand one, was the last time you see one at Xavier. Um, some of you guys weren't weren't born then. I mean, that, that you think that might come up this week? Yeah, hopefully we'll stop this trick. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, we want to get a win, and yeah, obviously, this trick sounds crazy, but yeah, it, like if we would win uh, the year before last year, we would still want to win. So, yeah. Any other questions for the student athletes? Thanks, guys. Thanks.